is Brendan's shot that uh, where he was kind of laying the scene. That is on the bottom left side. That is where Brendan is. We have a, a, an aerial sky view on the right there. Mm -hmm. It does appear that they are bringing some buses in. We would imagine that those will be used to take away anyone who is placed into police custody uh, tonight. That is what we have seen in previous nights. And so we do understand that those have arrived on the scene as well. You can see from this shot, they're still holding um, this particular intersection that looks like it possibly might be Marietta yeah. um, from and that was really the main the main intersection where we have seen protesters gathering uh, throughout the weekend. And so it, it appears as we've heard Brendan and, and Ron talk so much about that they have uh, gained and maintained the um, the areas that they have um, made sure that they have kind of pushed the the protesters and these people that are still out there back from as it kind of uh, as the shot kind of moves down we are seeing mostly an empty road there and um, so it does appear that some of this action has uh, cleared and dispersed the crowd at the top of your screen there those might be those those buses waiting to take away anyone who is arrested or placed into custody we do understand from our producers that some people have been arrested um, we we were not able to see and much of that through the screens um, it does seem that that might be a, a small cluster of people that were yeah. there walking in the middle of the street, but it did get kind of dark there to kind of uh, be able to see. Now, Jennifer, what I've noticed is, and it's very dark, so it's it's harder to really make it out, but the group keeps getting smaller. Mm -hmm. You do see that, and, and as a police start mobilizing, there are more people that have left. We're now 32 minutes past the curfew. For some context, last night, Atlanta police arrested 157 people, and we saw arrests much earlier in the evening. Those are the buses that they're bringing in. We assume uh, if they if they have an, a number of arrests and they need to uh, take people uh, to, to the police station once they are arrested. But last night, 157 arrests, but we saw them far earlier in the evening and we have not seen that. You see that the police officers have zip ties. That, that's what they use when they do make the arrest. You'll, you'll notice that they'll pull the zip ties off of their belts and they'll use that. And the, all of these police officers, um, we understand, came off the buses. So it seems like they have brought in even more reinforcements um, as they prepare to really clear the streets uh, for the night. Now at 9.33, the curfew went into effect at 9. So uh, more police officers just arriving. You see the zip ties there uh, with their nightsticks and their weapons as they make their way um, down. We have not seen tear gas here in a little bit, not at least from our vantage point.